Hello and welcome to this video demonstration. Today we're at Moore's Caravan Sales in Lisburn, Northern Ireland. My name is Jason Paul and I'm the Managing Director for Apt Innovations and the creator of our new patented Flow 636 Endurotech water drainage system. Now in this demonstration I'd like you to take away four things. First, how you can drain down your own touring caravan, RV or boat, all from the comfort of inside in a matter of two minutes, all without having to pay someone to do it for you. Also, you get the peace of mind of seeing and being able to measure the water as it drains. Second, how you can still make use of your property right throughout the winter months. Now we've taken away the worry of when is the right time to drain and made it so that you can drain down whenever you feel you need to and as often as you like. Third, how you can keep your water system sterile and showroom fresh every time you use it, winter or summer. And fourth, how you can take advantage of reduced insurance premiums so that Flow can be paying for itself from the get-go. Now in the DVD that accompanies Flow, I'll show you step by step on how to fit and use Flow and you'll be pleased to hear that there is no technical know-how required whatsoever. Also, should you upgrade your property, we've made it so that you can easily remove Flow to take it with you and leave the property in the way it was before fitting. Now these processes here are really straightforward. Once you're up and running you can drain your property when you're finished and in less time than it takes to make a cup of tea and all from the comfort of inside. Protected, spotless, available and an insurer's best friend. Now there are a couple of reasons for draining down. If you have a touring caravan, RV or boat and you're going to leave it vacant without heat for periods of time over winter, you'll already know that you need to drain it down to protect it from frost damage. Now what this basically means is that once you drain the water heater and any onboard fresh water tanks, there's still over one litre of water trapped inside those pipes. That may only be one litre, but if it freezes, it can have devastating consequences. So we need to get that water out. It's very simple, if it's not there, it can't freeze. Some people have their own methods, such as blowing down the lines in reverse, or trying to shake the water loose by braking and accelerating on the way home. But what most people don't know is that these pipes travel up and over bulkheads in the case of boats and up and over wheel arches in the case of caravans and RVs. Now trials have told us that while you might get some of the water out, it'll only be about a third of what's actually in there. So it just takes a little bit of frozen water to do a lot of damage. A broken pump or a joint blown off behind the sink can cost hundreds as the fridge or cooker may have to be removed so that you can get access. But as you can imagine the same thing happening behind the shower, well that's a whole different kind of nightmare. But rest assured, we are going to resolve that. Now that's just for frost. Any water trapped in the pipes for a period of time will start to stagnate and this is of course why most people drink bottled water. So why does the water go off? Well here's the quick science bit. Water lying in the pipes will lose its oxygen after 24 hours. At this point it will start to absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and the water is just simply starting to die off. The water authorities will tell you that after two weeks this water is not fit for human consumption but after 28 days it will start to grow algae and this is what lines the inside of your pipes. Basically this is the same as a garden pond which is exactly why we install water fountains as it keeps the water moving and it's filled with fresh oxygen. In your property you'll very quickly know this is happening if your cup of tea or coffee starts to taste funny. So we need to get this water out on a regular basis throughout the year. Just because we can't see this doesn't mean it's not happening. When you're finished with the property, just get rid of what water is in those pipes because it's going to go off anyway. Now most people use shower blocks to get washed and because of this stale water problem, most people end up drinking bottled water. So you've got to wonder what the point is for having these water systems that have already cost you thousands of pounds. But what if we could change this? What if I could promise you that by taking two minutes of your time at the end of every trip, we could keep your water system in showroom condition and give you the freshest of drinking water every time you use it. A glass of water or a cup of tea would tell you everything you need to know. Not only that, but you could also extend your trips into the winter, making sure that your property is protected against frost, again, only by taking two minutes. So how can we do this? Well, the method we use with flow is different. Instead of pushing the water back in reverse or only being able to remove a little bit, what we're going to do is get access to the water system from where it enters the property and get fresh compressed air behind this water and push it in the safe natural direction past all of the obstacles and out of each outlet one by one until they're all completely drained of water. 
Now following the natural direction of the water flow will not only remove the water lying in the pipes to protect your system against frost or the water going stale, but with its unique vortex spiraling action, flow has been clinically proven to remove 99.95% of any stale water or algae in the pipes, which is the same as sterilizer but without the nasty aftertaste. Now I'm not against sterilizer, you could still use it at the start and the end of the season and then use flow to remove the water in the pipes again. But if flow is used regularly, with the flick of a switch it'll clean the pipes for the rest of the year with just fresh air and without any of the hassle. Okay, so what is flow and how does it work? Well, you may be familiar with our award-winning portable flow system which connects to the water inlet of a touring caravan or components attached to the pipes of an RV or boat. You would then connect on your little tire compressor which would then build up air pressure to remove the water. Well we've taken all the good stuff from those products and then we have listened to all the technical issues coming from you, the customer, and added those in also. So the result is this little device here. Let me introduce you to our Flow 636 Enduratech automated water drainage system. It's a totally self-contained unit which has its own compressor that we have built from the ground up. It will start and stop automatically and it will produce 15 psi which is just enough to remove the water and cleanse the pipework. Now if you're concerned about the amount of pressure used, just know that your water pump operates at 20 psi, so flow operates safely well below that. Now people often ask me if flow is hard to fit, well it couldn't be easier. I'm going to show you how you can fit flow with something as simple as a Phillips head screwdriver and a pair of garden secateurs or pipe cutters, whatever you have. Flow is simply fitted in a three step system. First you fit the airline connection and these are just push fit connections by the way. Then you just simply snap together our little piggybacking electric T to bring power to the box. Finally, you just screw flow to a bulkhead or a modesty panel maybe under the seats, connect it up and you're good to go. Now I'll show you how to fit flow but rest assured that we have designed it so that it can be fitted without any technical know-how whatsoever. And better yet, it can be removed again to take it with you should you change your property, leaving no trace of it behind. Now flow has been verified and approved by the UK's Water Regulations Advisory Scheme, RAS, the National Caravan Council, NCC, and for the first time in the industry, if you fit and use Flow 636 in your property, you can get a reduction in your insurance premiums. Now you can find out more on who our insurance affiliates are on the website or in the documentation that comes with Flow. But basically, if you're prepared to protect your own property, they're prepared to reward you. Now this isn't just a one-off discount. They will continue to discount your premiums every year on your renewals as long as you continue to use Flow. So the idea is this, once flow has been fitted and you want to carry out a drain down, you simply switch flow on and it will create 15 psi of pressurized air in the water system and then it will stop automatically. Flow is now waiting for you to open a water outlet such as the cold kitchen tap or faucet. And when you open it, flow will then use this pressurized air to safely push all of the water out leading to that outlet. The clever thing about flow is that it will sense the water leading to the outlet is gone and the air pressure has dropped. So it will restart automatically to build up the pressure once again so that you can open the next outlet. Now you'll find that this restarting compressor is unique to flow and this is what saves you lots and lots of time draining down. All you need to do then is repeat this process for all the outlets in the property and your system will be completely drained in about two minutes. It's that simple. So in short, our mission is to make the draining down process as easy as possible. No more hoping that enough water has been removed and as the process is all done from the warmth of the inside, there's no more climbing in and out of the property to restart your compressor. This is great for people who have some physical disabilities by the way. There are no gauges to watch, no worries of overpressurizing and no technical experience required. So you can easily fit this yourself. The real benefits to you are though, there's no worries about the, what is the right time to drain down. You're in control and you're free to drain down whenever and as often as you like. You can make sure that you've always got fresh water on tap and of course you're able to enjoy wee winter getaways draining down before you lay up again. Most importantly though, is that you'll never have to pay anyone again to do it for you. Okay, so flow is now fitted and we want to do our first drain down. So I just want to give you a quick recap of what should be done as a bit of prep and then I'll take you through this really simple process. First, in the case of a touring caravan, disconnect any water connections outside and this will make sure that any one-way valves are operating correctly in the water socket. Then, simply turn off your water pump and open the dump valve here to the water heater and that will make sure that that's drained also. Now while it's draining and if you have them, just make sure that any diversion switches are pointing in the right direction. 
Then you want to make sure that all the water taps and outlets are closed around the property. When that's done, just make sure to close the dump valve on the water heater again to seal the system once more. Now as a top tip remember to flick the lever closed with one finger and not lower it slowly with your thumb and forefinger and this will make sure that it is closed properly. And that's it, the little bit of prep is done so you're now ready to drain down. So what you want to do now is switch flow on and it's going to fill the pipes and the water heater here with lots of fresh compressed air up to 15 psi. Now this is 5 psi under your water system's normal pressure but it's enough to remove the water and clean the pipes. This should take about 30 seconds. Now remember any lubricants used in Flo's compressor are not only food grade but they're also verified and approved by the UK's Water Regulations Advisory Scheme and the National Caravan Council. So once Flo has reached 15 psi it will stop and this is your indication to open the first outlet, say the kitchen coal tap or faucet. Once we open it, the air will push the water out, cleaning the pipe behind it. Now while this is happening, Flo will notice a drop in pressure and it will automatically restart and this will push out any remaining water. So once that outlet is drained, simply turn it off again to seal the system once more and then let Flo build up the pressure again to 15 psi. Again when it stops, you just open the next outlet and then simply repeat this process for all the outlets in the property. Now there really is no order to the outlet you drain but it does help to have a wee system in your head so that you don't leave any out. I just started the kitchen sink for the hot and cold, then the wash hand basin in the bathroom, the fresh water fed toilet and then the shower. Then I would open the dump valves on the water heater and the onboard water tank just to see if there's anything left in there. To finish just make sure that you drain any outside outlets if you have them. So when you're completely finished just switch flow off again and open all the outlets again to let them breathe. Once you get used to this process it should pretty much only take about two minutes to complete. So now that I've done my little bit of prep let's switch flow on and do our first drain down. Okay so that uh, flow has now built up to its pressure and it stopped and that took about 30 seconds there to fill the water heater as well. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is uh, I'm going to drain the cold side so I'm just going to move the tap all the way to the cold and I'm putting a, a, a jug underneath here because we're going to just uh, see what water is actually in the system. Once I open the tap flow should automatically restart again uh, and start building up that pressure. Now this is where this particular little cloth comes in. I'm going to try to stop um, bouncing the water around the place um, but yet I'm going to try and collect the water at the same time. So let's see if this works. So you should hear flow start again. There we go. So it is now sensed that the pressure has dropped. But just topping it up with pressure. So we've closed that tap off. Um, what we're going to do now, and as you can see we've got quite a sizable amount of uh, water out already. Um, what I'm going to do is turn the tap all the way to the hot and do the same thing now that it has built up in pressure. Flow has built up in pressure one more time, so we'll just open the cold. Again, we'll just use the cloth. Hopefully not get it around the mirrors. Okay, close it off. Okay, so that's it built back up again. So it only takes a few seconds to build up in pressure and we'll open up the hot side. Now ready, we're overflowing. Okay, so my jug is starting to overflow, so I just want to pour it into this basin. When it comes to draining this particular toilet, very simply, just like you would open and close any other outlet um, in your particular property, you just simply press and hold this button. Now you will hear a distinct difference between the water coming out into the toilet and then the air following behind. When you hear the air coming behind, you know there's no more water in the mechanism and so it is then frost protected. 
Okay, so it's crucially important to include the shower as part of your drain down. Um, to have any blown off joints or burst pipes behind here would be an absolute nightmare. Um, now, whenever I'm draining down the shower, what I like to do is actually remove this handset and hold it down uh, to the plug hole, and that prevents any water um, from, from pouring back into the tap itself. There is only one snag with that though. You have these little clips here. Um, now what I would suggest is that you remove that because all it's going to do, if I take off that particular shower head, it's going to stop me from getting past this point here. Now, the way to remove that is, uh, if you can see here, is just to unscrew this little nut here. Make sure you don't lose the little o-ring. Pull this back up, put the o-ring back in again and screw it back into place again. Um, now what that means is when we want to drain down the shower, what we can do is lift the handset off uh, and take it right down to the plug hole. Okay, so I just want to drain the shower here, so the first thing I'm going to do is bring the lever all of the way to the cold side, bring down the handset, now I'm able to freely do this, and then just open the outlet. Okay, so we've done the cold, so I'm just going to bring it all the way to hot. And drain. And that's it, that's the drain down carried out, and that should keep you going through to your next trip or through to the next season. And of course, don't forget that a couple of the great benefits of using Flow regularly is that you'll not only have the freshest of drinking water throughout the year, but you can also take advantage of your caravan, RV or boat through the winter months simply draining down for frost protection before you lay up again. Now in the DVD that accompanies Flow, I'll show you what way to leave your water system during the winter season and quite a few other winterizing techniques that you may wish to know. Now these skills are really very straightforward and once you make a little checklist on a post-it note, you can drain down your property in about two minutes and completely winterize it in about 15 minutes. Now you saw me collect the water as we went along here. So for this particular property, there is about 1.2 litres of water here, and this is fairly typical of European-sized touring caravans and RVs. Obviously, larger RVs and boats will have slightly more, depending on the size of the water system. But what we really should be looking at here is the quality of the water removed. Don't be surprised if the water is really grubby, but that will change after the first juice, and honestly, if used regularly, it will keep giving you fresh, clear water. Now just so you know, Flow is completely covered by our 9 month money back guarantee and our 5 year parts warranty. So if you do encounter any little problems, at least you know you're covered. In addition to that, we're very pleased to announce that you're now guaranteed a reduction in your insurance premiums if you install and use Flow in Juratech 636. So for more information on our insurance affiliates or if there's any other advice that you need, please remember to go to the website listed below. Here you can find our contact details for any technical support. But for now, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching. Bye for now.